I was part of the whole breaking generation. So, you know, being in a film where uh, that's the, 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 the story, the plot point, you know, for me, it was something that was, that was really special, you know, because it kind of takes me back, you know, to when I was a kid. Now, we weren't doing the kind of stuff they're doing. This is like a whole different level of, of b-boying. You know, they're in the air more than they're on the ground. We were on the ground. You know, and, and we would go further down into the ground, you know, with, with, with all the floor work. But these guys, I mean, they're doing all kinds of flips. It's just really evolved, you know, into a whole different type of, you know, acrobatic uh, art form. And, um, you know, and then now they have like different, you know, types of b-boying. You know, you got the tricksters, you got tricking, all this different stuff. And, and so um, you get to see a lot of different you know, different colors of, of, of how the art form has continued to grow throughout the years. Everybody's, you know, got their own history that, you know, some of them started off even before they were b-boys, they were in the circus, you know, doing, doing all kinds of acrobatics. Others were gymnasts, and they just, you know, embraced the culture and, and learned how to take their previous experience and their background and incorporate it into their b-boying. You know, so everybody has a different story that, that, you know, they bring to the table, but once they're in that cypher and that dance circle, all that goes out the window and is what are you gonna do right now? And, uh, and you see some of the best, some of the best performances.